Good morning, and we welcome you to Christian Life Assembly of God. We just ask that you just worship with us today, and um, you know, if you have needs, you're welcome to share them on the um, screen there, and we will pray for you, and um, we just invite you to worship with us and just love the Lord up today. Amen. It's good to be here this morning. Good to be in the house. Amen. It's always good to be in the house. I heard some amens out there. I don't know about you, he's done a lot for me. And this first song kind of gets your blood pumping through real good. It's a old fast song. It's titled, Look What the Lord Has Done. We'll just sing this a couple of times this morning. Get started. Well, look what...
so thankful for that day he touched me. I don't know about you. I'm so glad he reached down and touched this old soul. Hallelujah. This next song is just two verses. It's actually an old Southern Gospel hymn. It's got a great meaning to it. I know this is one of Pam's favorites. It's an old song titled, He Touched Me.
on me. Amen. Now I know I'm not guilty. And these clothes, they're not new. And I don't have much money. Lord, I have you. And to me, that's all that matters. So the world Christmas time, and uh, we, we were uh, dodging traffic down in Atlanta, and uh, I was in a big giant store, it's a, basically a Korean supermarket, and I was dodging folks in there with my cart, so we had a kind of a wild weekend, uh, racing around, getting all the stuff on our list, and I'm glad to bless people, but I just appreciate uh, him being willing to share, and, and uh, we're glad we can bless some folks. A lot of people ask me if I get along with my mother-in-law, and, and I I tell them I do because she doesn't speak any English, so I don't know if she's fussing at me or not. So, and uh, she cooks a lot of good food, and she can dry clean suits and everything. What's not to get along, you know? So, uh, so I'm glad we can bless her this week. And so, and Brother Bob is blessing us here. We hope you can make it back at our, or tune in with us tonight. I'll be sharing back tonight, and uh, we look forward to that. And we'll have a special prayer next Sunday that the Lord will bless our new year. So we get to be here in probably a, a special way that we will do that next time. And oh, and I just want to mention, uh, uh, probably the next big thing we got some Valentines that are coming up. So that I'm aware of. So we'll, we'll kind of talk about that. Oh, and usually works hard on that. And so we're working on getting that together for us. But God bless the kids uh, as you all head back. And for our guests, you're welcome to stay out here with us. And listen, you're welcome to go back. A good time with Sister Lynn and Miss Mika. Amen. So, 
Right, again, if you're tuning tune in with us out there on the internet, so glad you're with us. And just pray God will bless you. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can touch base on. Brother, we love you. Appreciate Brother Bob that he's weak today. Could you just, just encourage him in the Lord today that the Lord must bless him and give him strength today. Praise, praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you. you know, on a note, i got three more cancer treatments, and I'm looking forward to getting to the end. Amen. I, want, I want my life to get back to normal, and I want my bathroom habits to get back to normal. <laughs> when you know you're going through cancer treatments, it's just something that you endure. But the Lord has helped me, and it usually gets real hard at the end. The last two or three weeks, I've been sleeping better, and, and uh, I've, I've been... Uh, having more energy. I did work really hard Christmas Day. Uh, I made dinner for the family and uh, you know, you, you got to clean the house and everything along the way. So I, I had a busy day but a joyous day. It, it, last year was the best Christmas I ever had in many, many years. And, and this year it wasn't quite the same but it was a great Christmas. Thanks to my family and my loved ones. God is so good. You know, I have a very special loved one that I love the most. And his name is Jesus. Amen. His name is Jesus. And you know, in evolution, I like science. I even like to study quantum physics, even though a lot of it is just fabricated. <laughs> you know? And... and but in evolution, if evolution were true, like every, about every 133,000 would be identical to somebody else. Completely identical. More identical than, than identical twins. You'd have the same learning ability. We would be exact clones if evolution was the same. But you know, we're all unique. That's right. All the billions of people. There's never been two alike. That's right. Nobody's like me, and nobody's like you. That's right. And you know, we want to be loved for who we are. We want to be accepted for who we are. Oh, uh, yes. I feel Jesus. Yes. Do you feel the Lord this morning? Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. I feel just like he laid his hand on my head. I just feel a touch from the Lord. And you know, that's the thing that I desire most in my life, is a touch from the Master's hand. That's right. But you know, we all want to be loved for who we are. And we all want to be accepted for our abilities. Not our bad habits or whatever, but our abilities and our kindness. Well, did you ever think about the Lord? wants to be loved for who he is. Yes. He wants to be accepted for who he is. And you know, I've got to know Woody pretty good. And him and I, we're a couple characters. <laughs> I'll put it that way. And, and uh, there, there may be certain sides to us that we don't let the, the public see too much because we like to joke and kid, you know. Uh, Maybe steal ding dongs from the pastor's office and stuff like that. We're a couple characters. You go say that, Bobby. See, I, I, I told on him. Maybe a good friend wouldn't have told him. But we already, pastor already. But the Lord is truly good. He wants to be accepted for who he is. And you know, to really accept him for who he is, we need to get to know one another better. The better that Woody and I know each other, the better, more accepted we can be. Mm -hmm. The more that we know the Lord, the more accepted we can be. That's true. The That's Lord true. knows us on our side. And, uh, you know, Christ is being preached in many different ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the way that I want to know him, mm -hmm. just like he is. Matthew 22 and 43 says, He said unto them, How then does David in the Spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Set at my right hand, till I 
make your enemies a footstool. And you know, the Lord is watching over us. There, in the Godhead, there is a Father, there's a Son, and the Holy Ghost. And you know, there's debate about God being a person. There's debates over Trinity. There's debates over one God. But, you know, I found all the answers. Mm -hmm. I found all the answers. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you that I, I completely understand all the answers. Like my recent wife, I couldn't understand her completely, but I loved her. Mm -hmm. And I can't understand God completely until I see Him face to face. But I still love Him. That's right. I shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, and soul. And the more that you love Him, the more you want to know Him. Mm -hmm. The more that you love Him, the more you want to understand Him. The more that you love Him, the more that you want to fill Him inside. That's right. Amen. But you know, I would say that the Lord is my right-hand man, but He's much more than that. He's much more than that. He is all things to me. And you know, sometimes uh, people brag about my talents and skills and whatever, but I don't get puffed up because I know that they're not my talents, they're not my skills, but they're what the Lord helps me to do. That's right. I do what the Lord teaches me to do. Mm -hmm. And you know, and the Word says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. All things, you know. He is able to help us through any situation. Mm -hmm. I've had problems with appliances and cars and stuff that I didn't really have the money to pay others to fix. And I didn't have the knowledge and ability. And I got down on my knees and prayed. And you know, the Lord and I fixed them. Thank you. Yeah. He, he can tell you exactly what's wrong what to do. And he can help you do it sometimes without even buying a part. <laughs> the Lord is so wonderful. And he says, Set at my right hand till I make your enemies a footstool. All of God's enemies are going to be put down. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. I want to do it now. That's right. I want to do it now. He's my Lord. Mm -hmm. He's my Savior. He is my all in all. Mm -hmm. He's my comforter. And I, I abide in the Lord every day. It's so wonderful, Sister Jane, to abide in the Lord every day. Mm -hmm. And all of His enemies are going to be put under His feet. Mm -hmm. Well, the the Father not only said that to Jesus, but He's saying that to us also. Mm -hmm. Just rest until all of your enemies are put under His feet. Mm -hmm. They will be one day. There's going to come a day when you don't have no more enemies, no more sorrow. You know, nobody will speak evil against you. But we just all love one another. Oh, what a loving relationship we're going to have. Until then, we just have to endure. Mm -hmm. Woody just has to put up with, with my crudeness at times. <laughs> you know? And he knows that I don't mean it. We kid each other out of, out of friendship. Mm -hmm. And that's just who we are. And, you know, they preach Christ in different ways. Is Jesus the Son of God? Or is he, just, is he just the Son of God? Or is He Lord of all? Is He Lord of all? Mm -hmm. Colossians 2 and 8 says, Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophies and empty deceit according to the traditions of man according to the basic principles of the world 
and not according to Christ. The carnal person is going to understand and teach Christ different than someone who is rooted and grounded and solid in the Lord. Verse 9 says, For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. I'm going to read that again. Let it sink in. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Mm -hmm. And you are complete in him who is the head of all principalities and powers. In him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Here on earth, when Jesus left his throne and come down and wrapped himself in the womb of a woman, he was all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In Jesus Christ dwelt the Father. In him, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ dwelt the Son, in Him dwelt the Holy Ghost. One of the disciples said, show us the Father. And he looked at him and he said, how long have I been with you? How long have I been with you? If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. For in Him dwelt all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And if Jesus Christ dwells in me, where does that leave me? In, in Jesus Christ Jesus Christ dwells in him in me and in you and in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily I want us to get to know him better That's right. I want our trust to be built in him Amen. you know I want our, our hope to be built in him I want our faith to be built in him my livelihood is wrapped up in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm 64 years old. And you know, this cancer business is the first time that I didn't get healed by Jesus Christ. I was raised on divine healing. And I don't know why I had to go through it this time. But you know, the, my faith is still in Him. That's right. That's right. Job said, though He slay me, yet will I serve Him. Yeah. Yes. If I didn't get healed at one time, I, I, I happen to know that the shortcoming is in me and not in him. But, you know, I'm not going to, that's not going to change my relationship toward him. That's, right. that's not going to change my love toward him. If anything, it makes me closer to him. He takes us through all things. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will be with you. You know? Glory to God. Glory to God. I hope you're feeling what I feel. I hope you're feeling what I feel. Give the Lord a praise. Give Him a hand clap. He deserves our praise. He deserves our glory. And you know, I, I'll make a confession right now. There's something that I do that I just can't help. All day long, I, I, I find myself saying, I love you, Lord. Yeah, that's awesome. All day long, I find myself saying, I love you, Lord. And, and I say, I love you, Lord. I can feel His Spirit. It's like He's telling me back, I love you too, Bob. His love is complete. And our relationship with God needs to be complete. And when our relationship with God is complete, when troubles come our way, when the storms blow, it just, we just feel that calmness. Mm -hmm. Last week I was in Bowling Green and I turned on Russellville Road from uh, going into town. And I wanted to turn around because the traffic was so bad. Sometimes Instead of turning left, I'll turn right and I'll go up and turn around. I went up a little ways and I turned around and I saw this house. It, it was a, a nice house and it had one window covered up with a sheet of plywood. But right in the back corner of that house was a tree. That tree was as wide as this pulpit. And right up at the top, it was limbs just twisted out of it. 
some of those limbs were that big around it. The whole top of the tree is just twisted out. And I thought to myself, that is awesome. Not even a shingle going off of that house roof. And that tree, even with the back corner of the house, just a few feet away, that tree was twisted and probably taken away. I smiled at myself. I said, there must be some ch a child of God that lives in there. Somebody had to be in there praying and have that kind of protection. You know? It isn't it awesome. Isn't it awesome what God can do? But we must remember that Jesus Christ dwells in us. And you know, there, there are theologians who debate if Jesus Christ is divine or not. When it tells you in the Bible, in him dwells all the fullness of the God in Father. That's right. You know? And, and you want to understand Trinity better? Look at this. It says, Corinthians 2 and 9 says, in him dwells all the fullness of the God in Father. Mm -hmm. Not only when you draw close to Jesus, you're drawing close to the Father. When you're drawing close to Jesus, you're drawing close to the Holy Spirit. That's right. You know? Because mm -hmm. they all live in you. Mm -hmm. they, they live in you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to get into a deeper study about the baptism of the Holy Ghost, but it is real. Amen. It is real. Yes. It is real. Do you know? I was born again before I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Some people receive it all at one time. I've seen it. <laughs> but you know, that experience is real. Every experience with God is real. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Since you, I've explained to you that in Him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And He came down, was born a baby, and nailed to the cross. He went through the cross. The cross was one of the most powerful things that this earth has ever seen. The most powerful things that this earth has ever seen are events of, the, of God, like when God spoke in the beginning. There's some mighty powerful things. But do you believe in the power of the cross? Amen. The power of the cross that translated you from death to life, that made you from a child of this, took you, took you from a child of this world to a child of the King, a newborn babe in Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe in the power of the cross, Amen. and I believe in all the fullness of the cross, the completeness, and I'm still. I'm digging it out. People will, will go to great lengths to dig gold out of the earth. Mm -hmm. Well, I have something greater than gold. And I'm digging. <laughs> this, this is my mine. This is my treasure. And, and I like to learn on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I, I like to receive those golden nuggets on a daily basis. Amen. Isaiah 9 and 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And it's talking about God with us, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. He loved us enough that he wanted to know us better. That's right. And he became one of us. Mm -hmm. He took on a body. And he was tempted with all temptations such as is common unto man. He loved us that much. Can't we take those steps toward Him yes. that we can get to know Him better? Amen. Get to know Him better. Mm -hmm. And you know, everything goes better with Jesus Christ. That's right. Your life is better with Jesus Christ. Your hope is better with Jesus Christ. And you know, your health and your healing are more complete with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And when you're down, He's, dead. He's there with you. He's there to lift you up. He's there to encourage you. He's there to give you hope. Mm -hmm. And I'm not so ignorant at the age of 74 that I, that I know, believe 
that, that I can still run a mile in about four minutes. <laughs> you know, your body changes. Your body changes. But I want my soul to prosper in Jesus Christ. Amen. I want my soul to abound in the Lord. I want my spirit to abound in the Lord. For that isn't where my hope lies. And the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will, will be called. It said, and his name, there's no S there, that's not plural. And his name will be called Wonderful. Does everybody in here agree with me that, that Christ is wonderful? Yes. Christ is wonderful. And you know, you can't say that. You can't say enough about it. And I, you can't fathom and imagine how wonderful God is. He's been with me throughout my whole life. Taking care of me, watching over me. And when I stumbled and when I didn't do so well, in my teenage years, I've done some things that I need power for. And not from my parents, but from God. <laughs> you know? Things that I was sorry for, that I had to go back and repent and make things right. But I, I learned that God will forgive you. Mm -hmm. Through our repentance, His forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. You know, we can retain sin. We can deny sin in our life. And it's retained. And, and we have a stain upon our soul. But... When we repent of our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us. He cleanses us from all unrighteousness and makes us pure and holy. And I want to be pure in Jesus. I don't want anything to stand between me and the Lord. I don't want anything to mire our relationship. But I, I'm the one that has that choice. God has already made His choice. He, he showed us His love. He proved us his love to Calvary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Counselor. You're thinking Jesus Christ is a counselor? He's a counselor that knows all the answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes maybe we just need to say, Lord, what should I do? Mm -hmm. Lord, I had this problem. Lord, I can't work a relationship out with somebody in my family. <clears throat> Give me the answers. Mm -hmm. Give me the answer. And I'll tell you what, God goes to work on it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when sometimes people are stubborn and it takes a while for God to get them to turn around. Mm -hmm. But just be faithful. Just trust in Him. Next, His name will be Mighty God. Mighty God. He's a mighty God. Mm -hmm. Is He Lord of your life? In the Greek, Lord means kerisa. And it means supremacy. Supreme in authority. The Word says, Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every enemy shall be put under his hands. And I want him to be supreme in my life. I want him to be that mighty God that the word declares he is in my life. I want him to be that mighty God that the word declares that he is in my soul. I want him to be that mighty God that the word declares that he is in every area and every facet of my life. Oh, and he works at it. He does. When, he, when he gave up the ghost on the cross, he said, it is finished. It meant that he completed his work. And now it's our turn. And, it's, and now it's our turn. When he said, these things that I shall do, and you, you shall do also, and greater things, he was telling us, that the things and the miracles and everything that he worked 
we have the power and the ability to do. But not only that, the work that he started and established was for us to complete. The greater thing is for the completion of the church. And he placed ministers and apostles and prophets in the church to help complete those things for the perfecting of the saints. So, you know, I'm gonna, I want to do my best to get on board. When he said, be thou perfect, people say you can't be perfect. But the Bible tells us to be perfect. He commands us to be perfect. And that, that's not physical, but that's spiritual. That's spiritual. It's, it's what's in your heart. It's what's living in your soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if, if Jesus Christ lives in your soul, in all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, you certainly can be perfect in Christ. Thank you. The physical and the body and, and the mental capacity will never be perfect. Sometimes I, I look at somebody and I can't remember their name. And you say, that's, you, that's not perfect, and you never can be. That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about what's in our heart and our spirit to be perfect in Him. Loving one another, kind to one another. And to be that way, we must first love Him. We must first make Him number one. Everlasting Father. It called Jesus here, Everlasting Father. Things like this to confuse people about the Godhead. <coughs> Everlasting Father. In John 1 and 1, it says all things were created by Him. Mm -hmm. He created us, and in a way, He fathered, fathered us. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, when He talked about His Father, that was the Lord of all, God the Father. But in all the fullness, Jesus Christ dwells in all the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells Jesus Christ dwelt in him. He was the creator. He spoke all things. He made everything that we know. Everything that we can touch. Things both seen and unseen. You know there's an unseen world that is really greater than, than the world that we know of. The seen world. That's true. You know. God is both seen and unseen. I try not to get too deep, but there's an unseen God. But you know, when the wind blows, you can see the results. That's right. And when I look at you, I can see the results of the unseen God that lives in you. Amen. Praise God. The unseen God that lives in you. But it's a God that we can feel. Yeah. It's a God that makes us alive. It's a God that gives us hope. You have hope in Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Prince of Peace. Jesus said, Peace I give unto you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world is. The peace of this world is to cease from hostility. But what is, was the peace that God was talking about? God says, I have you in my hand. And there's no power that can take you out of my hand. Thank you. No power can take you out of my hand. And that you are secure in me. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've had a different kind of life. Combat better. I went out into the cities and, and went into the drug districts and, and to, to, to win the loss for Jesus Christ. The man with a drug problem needs God like I need God. Right. The man and the woman with a drug problem are out there doing things that they shouldn't be doing to get drugs. They have a soul. Mm -hmm. And we're to love the world. Not to say, he, uh, <coughs> I, 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 if I get around him, I might get spotted. I might, something might rub off on me. Mm -hmm. 
But I want what I got to rub off on them. Amen. That's right. You know? After Jesus' resurrection, he went around and breathed on the disciples. And he said, receive you the Holy Ghost. It's like he started a pandemic or an epidemic that won't stop. But it's a good one. I got news for you. The Lord that I serve and the Spirit in me, it's contagious. Yes. It's highly contagious. And I want the whole world to be infected with Jesus Christ. The whole world will be infected with Jesus Christ. Sometimes, you know, people act a little nasty. Just walk over there and just start praising the Lord deep in your soul. And just walk around them. See if they feel anything. I've had a few of them cry out. They don't, you know, what's in them don't like it. You know? But when you get in that condition, even the devils are subject to you. Yes. You know? But the peace that God gives, you can lay your head on the at night knowing that you're secure in Jesus Christ. That you have that perfect hope. You can, the drug addict, can accept Jesus Christ knowing that the struggles in him will be overcome and conquered through the God that lives in him. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have seen quite a number of drug addicts and drug dealers come to the Lord. And some of them just instantly, their desires were gone and their struggles were gone. And others still continue to struggle. Don't know why. Don't know why. But the Lord was there to help with every struggle. That's right. Amen. And sometimes they had to go through a few hard things. This one young lady, she she was doing good and coming to church. But she moved a little farther away and she couldn't come to church much. And I told her, I said, you know what's going to happen when you get down there in that drug district where you're moving to. It did. And she went back into the world. She hit a policeman. They took away her children. And you know, she sent word to me. And I went in this home and they allowed her children to come in there. And she was scheduled to go to jail. And her children to be put in a foster home. I sat down beside of her. Those little children come over there and piled over the top of me. And I told her, I said, you found a way. Remember the day that I knocked on your door? You found a way. You know the way home. You know the way home. I said, just come back home. Mm -hmm. She began to cry. I got a call in a couple days. She said, you know what, what Pastor? They dropped all charges. They gave me back my children. And I'm going to go live with my mother. And I heard reports that she was a godly woman after that. Thank you. That's what true peace is. The hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Yes. Life in Jesus Christ. Sometimes I got to struggle. Sometimes I got to fight with everything within me. And Many, many times I say, Lord, if you don't help me this time, I'm not going to make it. I was that way about three weeks ago. Some of you probably noticed I was getting pretty pale. And I was up here, I was holding on the pulpit to stand up. <laughs> you know, but God strengthened me. He strengthened me. You know. And, and I, I'm expecting my, my strength and energy to come back. 100%. 100% I'm claiming in Jesus Christ. I'm going to fight for it. I know that I've got to eat right, i got to struggle, and, and, and i got to exercise and do the things that I need to do. But with the help of my counselor or my coach, I expect my energy to come back 100%. Regardless, Regardless of the struggles and the battles that I win and lose here on earth, I have a hope in Jesus Christ. I have a Lord. I have a Savior. And oh, I want to know Him better. Mm -hmm. I want to be closer to Him than I've ever been before. The Word says,
says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, and soul. I take that as a commandment from God. And Jesus said it's the greatest commandment. You get that right, everything else will fall in place. Everything will fall in place. We have help. We have hope. Uh, do you feel the Lord? Glory to God. Glory to God. We need to get to the point where we're just glowing. And we're just glowing with the Spirit of the Lord. I've been told a few times in life that I had a glow about me. That glow is nothing to me, but it's the Lord. The light of this world is shining in me. Why well, have a bad moment when you know the Lord Jesus Christ? Just put it under your feet. Put it under your feet. Walk all over the devil. Just step on that serpent's head. You know? Because God would, God has already provided everything for you. You know what he said, told us to do in that case? He said, only believe. Only believe. If things don't work out and come short, it's because I struggled in my beliefs. Only believe. Put your faith and trust in God. Mm -hmm. This morning, does anybody need any special prayer? Jesus. You know, I, I try to live as close as I can to God. Praying continually. But I, I, I often come up here for prayer. I can't tell you how many times I came to church and got blessed and lifted up and felt better when I left. If you do church right, you're going to be, feel better when you walk out the doors and when you come in. That's right. You should get up Sunday morning with anticipation. Say, I'm going to go get blessed. Mm -hmm. Not as a sense of a duty to go to church, but I get to go to church. Yes. I get to be blessed. I'm going to get lifted up. I'm going to, I'm going to have a great day because I went to the house of the Lord. Anyone want special prayer? Jesus. Heavenly Father, we love you and we praise you. And God, I pray for those under the sound of my voice. God, there's no bounds between you and I. Jesus, I send victory in the face of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you. And Lord, you said you are more, we are more than conquerors through you. And we thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Because you are wonderful. You are wonderful. It's glorious. So Lord, I'm glad that I found that glorious path.
wash or anybody here that really needs you, Lord, that even know you. The true we have all that fullness dwelling in them. I just pray, dear God, that you show them where they need to repent. Show them, dear God, what they need to do today to just give their lives, to, to surrender, to take it all and turn it over to you, Lord. To confess you as Lord. For Lord, you say in your word that anyone that confesses you in their heart that you raised from the dead will be saved. I pray that for anyone out there today in Jesus' name. And I pray for those, dear God, that are struggling, dear God, that maybe they really need to have this grow in their lives, that relationship with you grow. All of the name, the powerful name of Jesus growing in their lives. I just pray that that happen for them, Lord, that they'll let it all go. Hold nothing back and will receive See you tonight. You're able.